Michael Cherry is visiting a friend in Oak Park. As he leaves his friend's house, three men surround him. They press him about being in Oak Park when he's not supposed to be, especially because he's from enemy territory. According to Cherry, he runs back into the house and is shot while running. He hops through the back window, runs into the street where he sees a garbage truck. He jumps in the garbage truck and asks the man to get him out of Oak Park. The garbage man says that Cherry had a gun so he followed his orders. Cherry denies having a gun though. As the garbage truck drives away, the three Oak Park men spin the block in their Malibu, looking for Cherry. The driver remains calm and the Malibu doesn't see Cherry inside the truck. Then Cherry realizes he's shot and has the man drive him to G Parkway instead of the hospital. That's Cherry's side of the story, but there has to be more to it because one of the Oak Park men was shot twice and guns don't shoot themselves. Neither side would cooperate with officers, so all- What's happening? What's happening? Dirty Weather here with another fire ass interview. Y'all already know how it go. Y'all already know. I ain't gonna have too many people on the Holler View if they ain't factors from my city. I just am not gonna have it. So anyhow, who I have here is my good brother. We met during the struggle and on the streets. And now we coming to bring this knowledge to you. And also just let you hear how 2G's kick it up and chop it up and holler about, you know, they city. So welcome to the Holla View. So who do we have here at the Holla View? There's MC, man. M you know, MC. MC G Parkway. We grew up there. The mob, you know, put it together, architects, you know. So what what, what part of what, what part of Sacramento is G Parkway in? South Sac. South Sac. Would you say so what would you would you say like G Parkway is are different from other or, or, or explain like how that goes? Yeah. I think we're a little different. I think I, I would I would, I would say worldly. We're a little more worldly. We move around a little more. Yeah. And more accepted of uh, of, of, of of other other uh, hood cultures and shit. That's about it. You know what? I got a question. I never knew G Parkway's colors. Like I knew I knew the Creek Mob had colors black, but what was G Parkway colors supposed to be or gonna be? Oh, they, back in the, back when we was kids. Yeah. We as kids, it was like, went through gray. We had gray rags, gray. Uh, green. One fucker was using, uh, you know, the, the girls was using pink rags. And shit. That's, a, that's, a, that's a long Man. time ago, kids. I stayed, like, I stayed in G Parkway. I remember I stayed in G Parkway in 85, 89, and then I came back in, like, 96. And every time it seemed like I came back to the G, it was something different going on. Yeah. The G was one hood in Sacramento that it was a little bit of everybody from because I think that was like one of the first low income houses as a whole in Sacramento in the South area. One so of the major ones in the South. Yeah. So if you if you was low income, good chance you didn't live in the G you at one time there. or another. Yeah, you came through there. So uh how would you say G Parkway started? G Parkway started as the G Mob. The Mob <coughs> Squad. Um, <coughs> with some, um, with some young, some young, some youngsters, uh, wanting to have their own. You know, wanting to separate from um, what seemed to not be working for them. Mm -hmm. I think that's how a lot of them start. Because I noticed, like, when I came to the G in like '89. It was a lot of L.A. dudes. It was a lot of L.A. dudes on one side, and then on the other side, like in the townhouses, the Caselli, it was a lot of dudes from San Mateo, Frisco, just the Bay Area, period. And I remember one time, I was standing on the alley, and somebody rolled by was like, what's up, G. Park? No, 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 it said, uh, yeah, what's up, G. Parkway? And then it looked at each other, it was like, G. Parkway, you know, for 415. That was in 89. Then all of a sudden, about 90, 90, 91, 92, I started seeing them same people that was staying there is now from there. That's what you was talking about. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, <clears throat> it was, it was definitely a transformation. It was a transformation going on when uh, and when you stay with people when some people stay too long. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care if you're a grown man. Grown men, I seen them transform. <laughs> Yeah, you know, but but um, yeah, that's that's that that made them G Parkway. 
I would say I would say out of all the hoods in Sacramento though, G Parkway is one of the biggest less known about hoods, like the origin, because in the beginning it was I think in the beginning it was so many different theories on how it started that very rarely have people get to talk do they get to talk to somebody that's been there like from the beginning that knows they shit. If not, you're gonna hear somebody they like they might their history might start with BAY. They might they don't they don't know about ten years prior to that when there was a struggle and to to yeah. set they set their identity. Yeah. So yeah. so anyhow, do you remember about so I'm gonna tell you how far back I go back. I remember when the back bridge you used to be able to walk across the bridge, you used to be able to you used to be able to drive in and out. Every part, every it part of you used to drive across it up. You used to be able to turn off you of Brookfield. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. You used to drive off of Brookfield. You remember when they put the gates up, right? They had I booths they started. on Brookfield. Yeah, you remember that? A lot yep. of motherfuckers don't remember they had booths on Brookfield. Yep. You had to show ID on Brookfield to get in. Yep. Yeah, I remember that. I was there for all that. You remember? Uh, matter of fact, who was my friend back there? Little folks, man. That was my. Man, yeah, we used to run around that thing breaking windows and everything. We was actually terrorizing G Parkway. That's what that's how we, that's how a lot of us uh, started terrorizing terrorizing the neighborhood. And the other day I was live, I was telling them like my my uh my cousin Solo, that nigga used to have you know, remember how niggas when they were selling dope and then front them two alleys over there in the townhouses? Yeah. I remember that he used to have me following, like when the police come, remember used to, everybody used to run, bam, they used to run. I used to watch. I used to see niggas throw that shit in the bushes and double back on their ass. Be like, here. <laughs> Give my I didn't know what I was giving them. All I know is he was giving me some monies. But that yeah, was, it was, about. it was hella shit going on back there. Yeah, dice games. It was, it was, a, it was a, um, I ain't know I should die. You know, it, was, it was going crazy back then. And you know, in 80, in 89, I was, I was 12 years old. I was, yeah, so you know I, was I, mean? see, I was in the sixth grade. Yeah, see, I, I was, was going. To, I was going to Parkside. So you was already going. <laughs> uh, what you going, Fern Bacon? Fern Bacon, then. Yeah, yeah. So, we, we, my grandma we, was a counselor at G Parkway Elementary, though. I think for like two years. So your six. What who was your sixth grade teacher? Uh, Kircher. Kircher. I had Miss Fane. Yeah, Miss. No, I had Miss McClendon. The what's old. The, what's the, uh, Parkway's uh day? What is they uh Parkway what? Shit. You can't remember? I can't remember. Parkway Eagles. Parkway Eagles. Did y'all yeah, used to be y'all used to play Smear the Queer? Yeah, all the time. Man, I remember one yeah, time. Yeah. I remember one time that nigga David, man, he would have him and Daniel was coming at me. And I oh, man, I did a little quick turn, bam, and scored a touchdown. They would have them two big ass motherfuckers would have hit me, I'd have probably never been the same. That was a coma hit. I was in the GC for second grade. Damn. I went. To, I started the third. I started. Uh, I ended the uh, second grade. Started the third grade year. The first time I went to the G. Savannah Lane. In the townhouses. Forty two twenty five Savannah Lane. The first time I went to the G, was, it was like eighty five. Eighty five and let me see. Eighty five. Fuck. And when I got to the other architects was already there too. Uh, manual. Byron was already there. Uh, uh, Cal, they were fresh there. You know what I mean? Cal. Fresh there. Wait, Cal, PMC? Yeah. Uh, I remember PMC. There. Out These are other architects. Yeah, they was, they, 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 we sat around the table and built the, the mop with our bare wow. hands. You so, know what I mean? On so, the glass. They don't like to admit it. It was on the glass when we built it. Wow. You know what I mean? So, so very rare. These are the architects, little folks. You know what I mean? Mm hmm So very rare, like when you hear people from that from this hood or that hood, very rare you hear G's, real life G's, that's OG's now, that was there from the very beginning. 